Okay. Um, you guys saw your name? Anyone missing? Good. Okay, so um, we have one more week for before midterm. Okay. What I like to do this week, right? Uh, I'm going to give you uh, one last class activity, right? Um, the idea what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to work with Illustrator, and then we're going to convert your Illustrator, live art or Photoshop live art into a 3D animation. Uh, so you can incorporate the logo into your application, animated logo into your application, right? So that's the idea what we're going to do today. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the logo. Uh -huh. So the lo the uh, exercise that I want you to do, right? I want you to pick up one logo, you know, from the Thai government agency, and then you know, convert it or trace it and work as a live art. And then um, the idea. We might have some problem with the memory issue on our computer, so maybe you look at the logo. That's not too complicated, right? Some of the logo may be too complicated, all right? Let me show you one logo that you know some student working on, and then let's take a look. You got familiar with Illustrator, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. That's good. So, if you're not familiar with Illustrator, you also can. Uh, I would expect you familiar with Photoshop, right? Either one of these. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me go to the Dropbox. Okay, if you need internet, right? Why don't you just get into the internet right now and grab whatever you need? Because after this, we're going to turn off internet. The reason we have to turn off internet is because uh, one of the software is aware of the network. So, it won't work properly if you have internet on. logo as well so you can take a look you know what it looks like or something okay let me show you what it looks like at the, the end
And I'm going to put on your final project drive, so uh, in case rust apart, uh, Dropbox is not fast enough. So you will have this local as well. So final project. Okay, I just drop it in 2015. Lose it here, right? So you can copy it into your computer. And if you search on the internet, right, uh, you can see PRH Do we have to use this logo? No, no, no. You, you, you have to, uh, you can create your own logo. You, this one is already done. So that is the logo, Bureau of the Real Household logo. And if you take a look at this logo, right, uh, I can copy, copy the image, right? And then open up in Illustrator. Okay, one more thing before you uh, continue working on this, right? After you get all you need from internet, let's turn off the network by go to control panel. You go to control panel, and you choose network and um, network. Okay, where is network? Network and sharing center, okay. And then you click on Share Adapter Setting. It's right on your left hand. Okay, Share Adapter Setting. And then you have this icon. So when you got this icon right, you turn it off by click your right mouse and disable it. So it will say, okay, this is going to be great. After you grab everything and you got everything, yeah, it's going to be disabled. This will be great, okay? And then you start with Adobe Illustrator. So what I want you to take a look on this particular logo, right? Um, okay, let's take a look here. So this is the image. I grab, grab it from Illustrator, um, I, I grab it from the web, it's a logo, right? And when you look at this bitmap logo, right? So you can zoom in and you can see it looks really bad, right? It's not look as good as the, the shape. So what we're going to do, right? We're going to correct the shape, you know, it's like when you draw. Anyone do not familiar with Illustrator? Raise your hand. Okay, so you know how to draw with the pen tool in Illustrator, right? So that means you're going to fix this, you know, all this line and fix it, and you know, okay. So what you're going to do, for example, if I want to create this kind of logo, right, right here, okay, on the sample right here. So I go to layer, right? I go to layer. And then what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to turn down this layer to make it, you know, slightly uh, less opacity. So I change the opacity on here to, let's say, 50, okay? So change the opacity to 50% right here. And I lock this layer, okay? And then I'm going to create a new layer, okay? I'm going to create a new layer. Then I'm going to use a pen tool, right? and start drawing. So when I draw this thing, right, okay, I zoom in, 
and they creep and start growing that, right? Mm -hmm. I try to use as much shape as possible, you know. I try to use the curve, you know, try to control the, the curve, make it as smooth as possible, okay? And on my line, right, I can change the line, you know, to the default, to black line, and the fill, I can set it no fill, okay? And then on the second, okay, you see the hand, right? In case you're not familiar with Illustrator, so you can see the hand, it just keeps swimming. If I go to the next spot, right, you see what happened if I click on it. So it's loop or, right, just loop the way I want. So I undo it, and then I hold down my Alt key and click. So that means I'm going to turn off the hand, one hand. And then I go to the next destination, and then I, you know, draw another curve, right? Doing the same thing. So turn off my all key and click, click on it. And then go to the next one, all key and click. Go to the next one, all key and click. Go to the next one, all click, key and click. So basically, I recreate the logo, you know, based on what I think is look good, okay? Not visually see, right? Because when you look at this logo here, the logo is not high resolution, okay? It's not high resolution. So this means I will, you know, have to go over it and try to refine the detail of the logo, okay? So this process is very easy to understand, but probably it's quite time consuming, right? It's going to take you some time, but it's necessary skill, uh, skill for us as a designer, right? To, you know, master this technique, okay? Right. Now, I continue, okay. and at the end, right? Exactly the beginning spot, okay? So you click and then you hold it, right? So now I got my logo perfect one, right? For example, I got this, and this is the line, which is I can change the line to you know thinner, okay? Make the line thinner, something like that, right? Okay. And what else you can use with this line? For example, right now if I finish this one, right? And I want to feel it, okay? I want to feel it, okay? Look carefully, I want to feel it, right? What would happen? So if I select this and I change from feel none to feel something, right? To feel yellow. So that's what I'm going to get, right? I feel yellow. Okay, so I just remind you, you know, you may already know about this basic, but I just want to remind you one more time before we continue working with the logo, because when you are working with complicated logo, right, you're going to be confusing. Okay, let's take a look at this basic here. So this is the shape, right, we start drawing from, you know, uh, right to left, right, and then at the end, we just join the part and we make it look smooth, okay? So now the idea, the concept of the shape itself, okay? 
the concept of the shape itself if okay if okay you can start uh, okay if okay I draw one circle right here right and I draw another circle right here uh -huh. and the second circle I'm going to fill with pink okay right uh -huh. and my question is my question is I have this two shape here right you know two circle if I put this circle right here right uh -huh. nothing happened but if I want to compile another word you know make it become one object right what will happen what will happen extra credit for someone who's a familiar with illustrator so if I want to you know put this pink and this yellow circle right and I want to compile it or make it become one object okay answer either it will Make the O. Make a hole. Oh, make a hole. Okay. <laughs> so Good. Like subtract. Okay. Good. So this means you can do two ways, right? One way, if you compile it, the hole will happen. Okay, let's compile. What's your number, by the way? Number A. Very good. Number A. Extra credit. And then, okay, let's see the first way, right? I select both object. And I go to object compile. Okay. And I compile it. Yes, you're right. It's become a whole, right? So basically, now you know if there are two objects, right, on the top of each order, right? So if you join it, it's become a whole, the second object. And how about this? Okay, how about this? If, if I have, you know, another object, okay, and hold all key. Something like that. Oh, okay. Oh, something like this. Okay, more obvious. So now I have three object. Okay. So if I compile these three circle together, what happened? Extra credit. What will happen? Which area will become the whole? And what will happen to this, the brow circle? Will it become a hole or solid? Solid. Sorry. Why? So, if we combine, right, <coughs> this all three circle together, right, the second object will become the hole, but the third object is not going to become the hole. Right. Okay. Number again. Eight. Okay. Let's try that. Right. Select all three, and then you can compile part. Okay. That what happened. So now you see the idea, right? What's going to happen, right? Okay. Let me do one more thing. Okay. You see this shape here, right? This shape. I just finished drawing that, right? And how about if I want to change it, you know? Somehow, I want to change it to be something like this. I want to change the center, okay? I want to change the center to be transparent, okay? So what I'm going to do, I select this object, right? And I click on the field and change that to be transparent, right? And then how about if I want to enlarge the, the line, right, the outline to be more bigger, right, to be bigger. So I go to the stroke and change the point of the stroke to be 10 inch, oop, too, too big. Okay, let me move this out a little bit and then enlarge that. Okay, okay, about this big, right? So now I can see that, right? It's big. But what I like to do, right? I want my, this, I don't want to be a stroke anymore. 
I want this line, right, to have a yellow with the back outline. Look like this, you know. I want this black line here is become a yellow line with this back stripe, right? So this means this one, right? I do not want to be no longer to be a line. I want to be an area to be able to feel. Another word, I want to draw a parallel line along with this single line, right? Okay, extrapolate it now. Raise your hand for your answer. Okay, the Monday section, you still remember? What is the question? Okay, QU. Not on the phone, what is the question? Okay, basically, the question is, I want to make this single line, right? To, you know, to be able to fill with the yellow and outline with the black. That's the question. How I can do that? So that means I have to convert this single line into a parallel line, right? And to be able to fill it. So I go to objects, right? And then I go to the card, right? And I call doing something called outline the stroke. So basically, it's going to outline how big your stroke is. Right now, my stroke is 10 point, right? Okay, let me outline the stroke. So now you see, it's become two line, okay? Let me outline for you and undo. This is single line, right? And then redo. So now it's become a parallel line to outline the stroke. So that means if I outline the stroke, I will be able to fill it with whatever color I want. First of all, I want to fill it with, you know, a back <coughs> outline. And on the field, I want to fill with yellow. Okay. Right? So you get the idea, right? The way you manage it, right? And on this particular logo, what you're going to see, right? What you're going to see, you're going to see the left and the right is all equal, right? So it's not need for you to draw both sides, right? Basically, you draw only one side. And then you can flip it horizontally and join it together, and it's become you know both sides equal. Okay. So now I'm going to do that. Um, okay. Let's if I'm going to draw something, right? For example, if I want to draw something, I can control R to call the ruler up, and then I can drag some line up, right? So I can see um, the area. You know, the line where I should I start? Okay, for example, if I want to draw something, right? And to make it perfectly equal. So I start from the line, and I start drawing up, right? And then, all key and click, right? And then, For example, if I draw something like this, right? Maybe this shape is doesn't look appropriate yet. So I can use direct selection tool, right? To modify it. And I can readjust the curve to make it appropriate for my object, right? By modifying the curve. Okay, now, if I have this shape right here, right, and I feel this shape is look okay for me, right, and I want exactly, you know, equal to that side, right, so that means I'm going to use a flip tool. Um, so I'm going to use the reflection of O on the keyboard, right, to flip it. So basically, I select the object I want, right, and I go to the center, 
which is that the sender, right? And hold down the Alt key and click on it. Okay? And then now I'm going to select, okay, what kind of flip I want, right? I want 90 degree flip horizontally or vertically, uh, vertically. And then I can preview, okay? That's what it looks like, right? So now I think this is what I want, right? So instead of click OK, I click copy. So what happened? It's going to give me a copy exactly size on both of this, right? And then now I'm going to join these two objects together by okay by selecting this guy and delete this guy, right? And now I zoom in to my object. Right now you can see this object. Okay, let me turn off preview to outline mode, right? So you, this is my outline. So what I'm going to do, I select both object, that area I want to join, right? And then you can go to the objects, right? Part, right? And you can select join. So now it's become a single object. Okay? So it's become single object. What does it mean by single object? That means it's like become like a circle. You know, when you select on that, right? But you might have to make sure, you know, this part is all also joy. You see this one is still not joy, right? So what you're going to do, select that part, right? And control J to joy. <coughs> Can you see the difference? This is not joy. Okay? You see that? You see the gap? And this one, control J, joy. Okay? So now when I join it, this shape is become a single shape. So no more separate shape. Okay? That's the idea. Okay. Now, okay, let's see why I have to start with Illustrator. The reason I have to start with Illustrator is because Illustrator can create something very precise in terms of position and then you can port it to 3D application like you know, Maya or Cinema 4D, okay? So what I'm going to do right now, right? I'm going to create maybe, you know, a loop, uh, a different shape of the logo by um, create this one, you know, um, smaller, okay? Make a smaller version of this shape. So going to use a scale tool and then all key and click, right? And then I'm going to fill it with uh, uniform 80%, okay? And see what happened? Okay, that's 80%, okay? 80%, make a copy. Okay, and then I'm going to fill with different color, with the pink, okay. So now, um, let's move this guy down a little bit. Uh, maybe too complicated, yeah? Let's delete that. And uh, I'm going to draw, okay, I'm going to draw something on here. Draw a circle here, and maybe draw another circle right here. Maybe with different color, right? Okay, for example, uh, this one, right? I'm going to be like a demo logo, okay? So if I put this guy right here, put this guy right there, okay? So, for example, this is pretend, this is my logo, okay? <coughs> I copy, select the whole thing, copy, okay? Everyone do not, uh, everyone do not, uh, do not turn off the network yet. Anybody do not turn off the network, please do it now, okay? Okay, so now what I do, I press it right here, right? So this is my logo, and uh, I enlarge it a little bit, so you can see more obvious. Okay, so now, if this is your logo, right, you want to create a 3D version out of this logo, for example, you got to plan, you know, how you want to make this as a 3D. For example, you want to make this yellow solid, you want to make this red, transparency and you want to make this blue inside the logo or you want to make the yellow as a platform 
and then the second layer is the red, and the third layer is the blue, something like that. You know, you have to plan because the way the three D application interpret uh, translate this object is going to be different. Okay. For example, if I want to export this right to three D, okay, let's do that. So I'm going to export exactly this position, you know, exactly this logo into 3D application. So what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to go to find and set as, okay, set as logo Friday. Today is Friday, yeah? So we set as logo Friday as Adobe Illustrator. Uh, one important thing, instead of Illustrator version CC, you have to change it to Illustrator A. That only trick, yeah? Change it to Illustrator A. And then you click OK. OK, all right? You're done. Uh -huh. So you can quit this software. Uh -huh. OK, quit this Illustrator software. Say no. Okay. Create a clipboard. And then, now what we're going to do, right? We're going to, uh, I'm going to turn off this web page anyway, because uh, right now we not connect to internet, yeah? Unless, you know, I'm deactivate this layer. Okay. So what I like to do, right? I already did that on my document, right? And I already named that logo as a logo uh, Friday, right? On my document somewhere, yes, right here, logo Friday. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on a Cinema 40, 64 bit, okay? 64 bit. Um, we have 64 bit version of window, and also we also have uh, yeah uh, 32 bit, but we're working with 64 bit. Okay, now let's start. Um, you launch Cinema 4D, right? On this particular software, right? This is the the fourth software we talk about so far, right? Um, okay, let's take a look at this software for a moment. This software is very similar to After Effects and Maya, right? Um, this area we call viewport, okay? Viewport, which is you can control by four aspects right here, four icon over there. Uh -huh. But before we doing that, right? Let's go to open, okay? Let's go to file menu and open. Open what? Open the logo file there, the one that we just opened up, right? Open the Illustrator file. You can see one of the ability of this software. You can open Illustrator file. Yes? Um, do we turn on Cinema 4D or Cinema 4D 64? 64 bit. 